I'd been at Cardiff for several hours when I received a radio message from Hale. He told me he was in London, and he asked if snow was normal for July. He described a tower in the middle of London, one far bigger than that which they had found in Somerset, and with power conduits emerging in all directions. He said, if we destroy the tower, we destroy the chimera. For all I knew, Hale was completely mad. And even if what he was saying was true, we had no idea how to destroy the tower. But there was one new factor working in our favor. I had been able to contact the Americans, and they had joined forces with us in Cardiff. I decided to gamble that Hale was right. I convinced the Americans to help launch a full assault on the tower. We were bringing everything we had to London. I was counting on Hale to clear out a landing zone. If he couldn't take out the stalkers, the mission would be over before it began. Hey guys, welcome back to Resistance, Fall of Man. Here we are in London. Yes, interesting. So the entire American army has been summoned to help out. And yeah, we're going to need them. <laughs> we're going to need everything. Everything. Now, I do find this bit quite interesting that uh, Nathan here has been sent in to clear out a landing uh, for this army to arrive. So, say we've got half a million men here. They're all relying on one man to go and uh, clear out an area so they can land. Okay, <laughs> you've got to love video game logic. It's fantastic. Okay. This, this is where the game starts getting a little bit rough. So I've just come back from London, uh, and it was the the actual trip itself was an absolute disaster. But there we go. Look at this snow just like pouring in in the middle of July. Oof. Right, let's go, shall we? We're in some giant ass warehouse or something. Oof, okay. Let's see if we can find any goodies. I think we're pretty much topped up on everything. Uh, this mission is rough. It's not that long. At least it doesn't feel that long, but it is uh, panic inducing. Now our first intel is pretty much right off the bat here. I can't remember how you melee. Oh dear, that's, that's not it chief. That's not it. <laughs> yeah, it's been 10 days since I played this. So, yeah, that's nearly two weeks, man. Jeez. So anyway, our first intel is here. I've been literally dreaming about coming back and playing this. I've been really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, look at this. So this guy's like literally crawled into the air vents. Sandbanked it up as best he could. Oof. Got some uh, hailstorm ammo there, which is rather nice. So let's have a little dig into uh, our documents here. Intelligence. Co-pilot's log. Flew into something. Controls went all to hell. Coxley lost it. Broke formation. Flew right into the enemy flank. Nobody else survived the crash. My legs busted. Not going to make it. At least they won't make a hybrid out of me. I checked under the engine cowling, figured a flock of darts had gummed up the fans. Instead, it was jam-packed with bloody seabirds. God only knows what they are doing this far inland. Birds don't migrate this time of year. Maybe all the strange weather is messing up their instincts. Ooh. Yeah. So as we can see, the Chimera are terraforming the planet because they like cold climes. Oh boy. Now, this mission has taught me the value of the sapper. Seriously taught me the value of the sapper. Because these little jumper bastards, oh boy. Oh boy, those little jumper bastards. They are a little bit of a pain. If you're not careful, they can pretty much kill you in seconds. I still these all good guys as quick as we can. Hey, buddy. Come on. And we could use our own auger against him, but... Kind of want to save that. <laughs> auger ammo is a little bit 
at a premium and you don't get a lot of it and there's a particular part in this level where I want to save it for whereas assault rifle ammo is cheap it is everywhere we're gonna be uh, seriously using that quite a lot the assault rifle is gonna be our crutch the assault rifle and the bullseye of course all right let's keep going this is grueling. This is a slog. In a good fun way, of course. Right, we've got some nice fire eye ammo there. We're going to be using that bad boy in a minute. Ooh, as you'd imagine, being this deep into uh, ooh, enemy territory, things are going to start getting a little bit more complicated. Alright, let's feed him a hot potato. This potato is for you. Come on, baby. Ooh, getting chewed up. Getting chewed up. That's fine. Woo! Eat that, you bastard. Oh my god. They're at the top as well. They've got the height advantage. They've got the height advantage. That's okay. We're pretty good at being outgunned here. And um, we're stuck on scenery. Yep. Getting stuck on scenery really does screw you over in this game. <laughs> Oh, if I had a penny for every time we got stuck on scenery. Okay. Now that's... That like happens in every game when you get panicky. I think what they need is to have some kind of system where you can slide. So if you're stuck on, on something, you can still slide back instead of coming to like a complete halt. Um, now that, prop, that, like I said, that's not unique to this game. That's like in so many games. Um, this game's got its share of problems, but it's it, it's pretty good, you know, for a launch effort. And it uh, introduced us to a deliciously um, evil enemy, which I really want to see come back. Oh, I want to see the Chimera come back. Okay, I'm sure there's some more health around here. Because, uh, uh, as we mentioned before, like, Sony doesn't really have a first-person shooter franchise. I mean, I'm sure they've got Destiny, I suppose, I guess. But, like, an actual cool little, like, single-player story? They could really re uh, reboot Resistance in a really nice way. I mean, if you got the choice between Resistance and uh, Killzone, ugh, Killzone was... No bueno. Okay. Yeah, earlier on in this series, I was kind of gushing over Killzone 2. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was just me being stupid. I actually meant um, Resistance 2. Oh, boy. Get old... Oh, dear. Let's get old Painless out, shall we? Come on, baby. There we go. Whoop. Now this far eye really is the MVP. You only get 12 rounds, so you got to make every one of those bad boys count. I suppose actually we could save it. Uh, let's go for the bullseye. Hey fella. Boop. Don't think that, that didn't hit. There we go. Hit him. Excelente. <laughs> yeah. Suck it down. Oh, hi. Hello. How are you doing? Didn't see him sneaked away in the... Oh, God, there's more. There's always more. You should know this by now. Oof. Or maybe that was the same one. We just didn't quite finish him off. Yes, tough little bastards, these guys. Uh, cool. Right. Good enough. Now, this is cool. There's loads of glass here. And this is good, because this really does illustrate the glass physics of this game. And the way glass cracks in general in this game, which is really, really good. I might be able to hear my cats. They found a box and they're playing in said box. 
I, I hope you're not going to hear too much drilling either. Uh, my landlord has been uh, drilling upstairs in one of the upstairs flats. Uh, we don't know what he's doing. No idea. He's been drilling up there for about three weeks. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Apologies for that in advance. All right, I think we're cleared out here. Just about. Let's head on upstairs. This is some interesting game design here because you've just basically got one big open um, building. And they really make it into quite a big, um, long level. Some cool little game, cool game design here, I think. Whoa! My grenades are not working. Well, they are working. It's just my brain isn't working. I need to turn the game down too. I feel like I'm shouting. The game is very loud. Whoop. Damn grenade! Roll it! Uh, it's not far enough. Okay. Let's give him a bit of the old uh, shoot you through wall jig. Come on, you son of a bitch. Okay, I think we got him. I think we got him. No guarantees. Oh, <laughs> I was going to say, they're all dead. We got them all. No, we didn't. There's always more. Oh, hi. Hello. Jesus. He came out for a kiss. He left disappointed. Oh, happy death sounds. We like happy death sounds. Ah, well, that was a thing, wasn't it? Right, there's health here. But let's not grab this. Let's go back and get the furthest health back that we can. Look at these, these toilets as well. Little self-contained, like, port type things. Five pence to take a piss. Get fucked, mate. I'll piss in, in, in the street. Five P to have a P. Seriously. What is this? Okay, anyway, um... Let's keep going. Also, public service announcement. You really shouldn't piss in the street. Not good. See, way too many people doing that on a Friday night. And I ain't just talking about blokes either. I've seen everything. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, it's a weird phenomenon. Not like there aren't toilets around. But then, you know. I think we've all done that. Right, grab up some goodies. Okay, we're all good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep this party wagon. What have we got? We've got air fuel grenades. We've got frag grenades. Uh, we still got some hedgehogs. Cool. Got plenty of health to come back to, which is good. Because our health can get drained in seconds, as we've seen countless times. Yeah, so look, if you... Ooh, okay, get the old Ross Moore out. We have leapers. Leapers are rough. Leapers are really rough, especially when you're stuck on scenery. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Right, must keep moving, must keep moving, must keep moving. Get out of here. Are we good? Nope. I can still hear more. Yeah, these things... Come in quite big packs. You get a lot of these to the pound. Whoa, hi, hello. Uh, usually they don't just morph through the wall like that. That's a first. Are we good? Come out, you little scurrying bastards. Oh, hello. Ow, please stop leaping at my face. I need my face to do face-like things. Oof. Oh, there's another one back there. You really do want to hunt down leapers because they, if you leave any behind you, they have a nasty habit of sneaking up behind you and punching you in the taint. 
So... It's good. We're all, we're all good. We're all in the clear. Okay. What we like for the old Ross. Oh, nine shells. I mean, it's not great, but it's going to have to do. Ooh. What we could, I wonder if we can drop back down there, actually. Possibly drop back down here. Yeah, so as I was saying before, we were so ever so rudely interrupted. This is like a really small area, but they actually stretch it out to be a really, um, quite a big uh, part of the level. Just because of the maze-like structure of it. And I actually think that was really cool when I was playing through this. I was like, it feels like we fought through hell and back. Uh, but we actually haven't gone that far. It's just, there's so many twists and turns, and it's so full of enemies. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's Ross ammo around here. I'm sure of it. Where's my Ross more ammo? Game. Oh, wait, was there any under here? There was Hailstorm ammo here, actually. Hailstorm is, like, my favorite weapon in this game. It's so good. Uh, but... The only problem with it is I don't like using it too much because I think that we're going to just like expend all of the good ammo. Um, and I'm hoarding it. And before you know what you're doing, you're at the end of the game and you've got bags of this ammo. Alright, well we've got the fair eye ammo, which is good. Or oh, far eye ammo, I should say. Yeah, maybe there isn't a lot of Rossmore. Alright, well, whatever. That's unfortunate. Because you, you're kind of going to lean on that shotgun a little bit on this level. And there is a cat on my missus' computer, which is really not good. They're not allowed on there, you see. But um, they don't care about this fact. Okay, he's gone. We have very few rules for the cat. Ah, there we go. I knew I saw shotgun ammo somewhere. Brighton Pier, eh? Lovely. I knew I had shotgun shells here that were going to waste. And there's no point leaving them for the roaches, guys. Stuff as many of those bad boys in your pocket as you can. Now, I have just finished playing Scorn as well. Uh, I downloaded that on the Xbox with Game Pass, and that was not what I was expecting. Uh, I mean, it's free with Game Pass, so I'd recommend you taking a peek. But I thought it was going to be some kind of like gross first-person shooter, a little bit like Prey. Uh, it was not. I still don't even really know what the hell that game was. Uh, I finished it about 1 o'clock last night. Uh, the only thing I can say about it, really, is you get all the achievements in one shot. So, once you're done with it, you don't need to play it again. Definitely should have had... Oh, hello! Definitely should have had multiple endings. Would have made it a lot better. Just saying. Come on, you bastards. Now, I don't really like walking simulators. I like to have a bit of combat in my games. But, um, Scorn would have been so much better if it was a walking simulator. Come on. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. After you, sir. No, you want me to come get you? It can be arranged. That can be arranged. Stick that down his throat. Can't remember how you melee in this game. Probably some weird button combination because the controls in this game aren't great. And the thing is, uh, I do appreciate. Uh, I I was spoiled with Halo. Uh, you know, growing up as an Xbox gamer, and. Halo's controls from day one were perfect. I mean, Halo 1 
has the default controls that now every single first person shooter has used for the last, you know, decade and a half. As much as everyone thinks that was Call of Duty, it's like, no, Halo did that on the original Xbox. The twin sticks, the triggers to shoot, all that stuff. Um, so when you come back to this, it, this is a bit strange. Especially when you try to click to crouch and stuff like that. You definitely get used to it. But it does take some getting used to. Right. Now we're going to lean into our rifle a little bit here. Good night, sir. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, God. Somehow we've used all of our breath power. Okay. Okay. They've got that area bloody locked down tight. Sun's... Ooh. Get the roller. Get as many of those as you can. Because they are nasty. They can really strip your health away fast. Okay, cool. I keep forgetting as well, you've got to use the D-pad to zoom in with this gun. It's just, it's a very awkward way of putting your fingers because you've you've got to do, you've got to click the stick in to go into first person uh, or look down the sights mode. You've then got to somehow hold L1 to use your secret breath power. And then somehow you've got to fit another finger in on the D-pad to push up to zoom in. Uh, okay. It's questionable. I would say it just about works, but it doesn't. This fire eye is not an easy weapon to use. Alright, I see them. I see these sly little fuckers down here. And that's exacerbated by the fact that we have a time limit to use the uh, breath power. But when this weapon works, man is it OP. But I think a sniper rifle should be OP to a degree. It's a freaking sniper rifle. Ooh, rollers. Oh, got him in midair. Ooh, roller. There we go. Ooh. Roller hunting is good today. Ooh, another one. Now, some of these should start coming up. Oh, jeez, he's off. He's off on a mission, he was. There is another one over there as well. We've also got... Oh, hello. Hello. Here come the locals. Definitely tell he's from London. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. How are we looking down here? Big old, big old stack of bodies. Right, I'm going to go back and get the far eye ammo. Because, man, we need that far eye ammo. We're going to be going to bed with this rifle. You better believe it. Where was that far eye ammo? I know it was here somewhere. It was propped up on one of these little bar shelves. There's no bar, is it? I don't know what this area is, but... There you are. Okay. Four rounds. Not bad. I... I was concerned that it was just going to be like two. Come on, you bag of dicks. Where are you? Where are you? I can hear you. How about you come and introduce yourself? Get all close and personal-like. Sounds like they're trying. Which is not good. Alright, let's go meet them. It is a shame when you drop down though, you have to go all the way around, but it doesn't take that long, so it's not too bad. 
when it's not stuff with Chimera, of course. Ooh, hello. And there's still plenty of health around, so we're not doing too badly here. Right, let's start. Ooh. Yeah, there's a lot of them down there. Oh, God. They are awkward as hell to hit at a distance. Oof. I don't know if it's worth using the fire iron. Oh, here they come. Looks like they're going to come to us. In their very wacky, tumbly way. Oh, here they come. That's it. Keep it going, guys. Any more? I think we're good. I think we're good. Oh, no. Oh, hi. Oof, jeez. Well, that's not great. Definitely not what you want to see in the sky, if I'm honest. Okay, I think we're clear. Whew! Sketchy.